Hello and welcome to this video about watch and watch effect in the view composition API. If you like this video, please consider to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. But now let's get started taking a closer look at watch and watch effect. When starting with the new view composition API and seeing that there is now a watch effect function in addition to the watch method, you might wonder what actually is the difference between watch and watch effect. In this video, we will learn how to use watch with the composition API, the difference between watch and watch effect, and when to use what. Let's start with the question, how to use watch with the composition API. For this, I prepared a little demo application. You can see here the, the app component. And here we render a simple watch options API component. Let's take a closer look. So here we can see the watch options API component and in it we render account and the button which adds plus one whenever we click it. And this component uses the classic options API. Like here we can see a data block, we can see a watch block and we can see the methods block. And in the watch block we define a count method and this count method this watcher function is triggered whenever the count changes so whenever the count changes the count watcher function is triggered and the first param is the new value and the second param is the old value and when this method is triggered we console log the new value and the old value so let's check this out when we click here we can see here we console log the new and the old value. Let's reload this real quick. So this is how we use watcher functions with the options API. So let's take a closer look how we can do this using the composition API. For this I prepared another component, the watch composition API component. Let's take a closer look at this one. And we can see here the template part is exactly the same as the watch options API component we saw previously. But the difference is here we use the new composition API for the logic part. So in this setup hook, in this new composition API setup hook, we declare the count reactive variable as a ref starting with zero. Here we have the plus one method which simply adds plus one to the count value. And here we can see the new watch composition API function. And this watch composition API, fu API function takes as its first param a reactive value, like in our example, the count, but this can also be a computed value or any other reactive value. And the second param now is the callback function, which is triggered whenever count updates. So whenever count value changes, this callback function is triggered with the new value and the old value again. And again, we see that we console log the new value and the old value. So let's save the app component. And now we can see looks exactly the same and it works exactly the same. So this is now the counter component using the composition API. And at the bottom, we can still see the watch options API method, which works exactly in the same way. So now that we have seen how we can use the new watch composition API function, let's take a look at the difference between watch and watch effect. For this, I prepared another simple demo component, the watch effect component. And this watch effect component is now a little bit more complex than the other two components we have seen. Now we have account A and account B and the combination of count A and B. And we also have two buttons, one to add plus one to count A and another one to add plus one to count B. 
And again, we are using the composition API. Here we can see the logic for count A and here the logic for count B. This is also one of the great advantages of using the composition API. We can group logic that belongs together. Like with the options API, there would be two data entries for count A and count B. And then we would have the watch option for the watcher and, and so on. And so, and then the methods object for the methods and so on. And with the composition API, we can group what belongs together. together. Okay, so here again, we see a watcher for now, just to demonstrate that now with the watcher, we can also use an array for the first param. And what this does is now we can watch for changes in count A and count B. So whenever any of those, those two values changes, we console log the two values. So let's try this out. When we click A plus one, we see the console log. When we click B plus one, we also see the console log. And then here we can see a computed property. And this computed property is responsible for adding count A and count B, the values of those two reactive properties. So why I'm, uh, why I'm showing this with the computed property is because it helped me a lot to think about watch effect like about computed properties. So let's copy this watch method and maybe let's comment it out for now. And here we change it to watch effect. And with watch effect, we can remove the first param. It only takes one param. And this is the callback function that should be triggered whenever any of its dependencies changes. So with dependencies, I mean all reactive values or all reactive variables inside the callback function. So in this case, the reactive dependencies are count A and count B. So this callback function is triggered whenever one of those two changes. So let's save this and try this out again. And we already saw the first difference between watch and watch effect, which is that watch effect is triggered immediately. So immediately after loading or after reloading, watch effect is triggered. So it's the first difference. But other than that, when we click here, we can see again, whenever either count A or count B changes, the callback function is triggered and the console lock is triggered as well. So number one difference between watch and watch effect watch effect is triggered immediately. If we also want to trigger watch immediately, we can add a third param, which is for the options. And in here, we can use the immediate option. We can set immediate true. And now in this case, watch and watch effect function exact exactly the same. So like when any of those two values changes, the, the callback function is triggered and it is also triggered immediately after loading the component, after rendering the component. But with watch effect, it triggers every time any of its dependencies is changed. So like imagine we add account C. So if we would add account C, that also locked this here, then this watch effect callback function would also trigger when the value of count C changes. But if we would do the same up here in this normal watch function, if we would also add count C here, then this would only trigger when count A or count B changes, but not when count C changes because it only watches these two reactive variables. So the big difference watch triggers when one 
of its specific dependencies, you have to define manually changes and watch effect triggers automatically whenever any of its reactive dependencies changes. So let's come back to the computed property here. So like I said, when you want to understand how watch effect works, just think about the, how computed works. So computed does exactly the same. Whenever any of its reactive dependencies changes, the computed, the return value of the computed property, in this case count AB, is updated. And watch effect works pretty much the same, except that it is for triggering side effects instead of returning a value. So computed property returns a value or calculates a value. Watch effect works pretty much the same way, but it doesn't return a value, but it is meant for triggering side effects. And what do I mean by, by side effect? So a side effect is anything like executing a method which changes some value or maybe even triggering a API request, for example. So anything that affects anything outside of the callback function itself. And this is pretty much the opposite of a computed property because with computed properties, you are not allowed to trigger any side effects in here. So you absolutely shouldn't set any value in here. So the computed property, the only purpose of a computed property is to return a value and it's not allowed to trigger any side effects. But watch effect triggers at the same time as a computed property but we are allowed, or it, it is meant to trigger side effects outside of the scope of the callback function. So now we have seen how to use watch with the composition API. We've talked about the difference between watch and watch effect. And now the last part of this video is about when to use what. So let's go back to our demo component again and like I said before watch use watch whenever you want to watch one or multiple specific reactive variables like in this case whenever you want to only trigger the callback function when count a changes for example like change this back so in this case, this callback function triggers whenever count A changes, but it won't trigger when count B changes. But in the callback function, we also use count B. So first use case for watch is when we want to watch only specific reactive dependencies and not all of them that are used in the callback function. And the opposite way with watch effect, we want to use watch effect when we want to trigger the callback function whenever any of its reactive dependencies changes. That's it for today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like that, hit subscribe. See you.